In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix a non-tradable symbol in TradingView. If you've ever encountered the frustrating message that your symbol is not tradable, don't worry, it's a common issue that can usually be resolved with a few straightforward steps. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to get back to your trading analysis without any hiccups. First, let's start by determining why a symbol might not be tradable. This typically boils down to either a subscription level issue or exchange data permissions. Make sure you have an understanding of the data plan you are subscribed to on TradingView, as certain symbols require specific data subscriptions. Now, let's dive into the first step. Open your TradingView account and head over to the main dashboard. We want to check if the specific exchange that your symbol is listed on is part of your data subscription plan. To do this, Navigate to your account profile that's usually located at the top right corner of TradingView. Click on it, and a drop-down menu will appear. You'll select Account and Billing. Here, look for the Subscriptions tab. Once you're in the subscription section, it's time to check whether you have access to the data for the exchange in question. In case you're seeing that you don't have access, you might need to upgrade your data plan. TradingView offers various data subscriptions, depending on the exchange and region, so you might need to explore which one fits your needs. Remember to weigh the benefits and costs, ensuring it aligns with your trading strategy. Next, if you've confirmed that your subscription should include the exchange, it's time to check your symbol entry. A common mistake is entering the wrong ticker symbol. Ensure that you've typed the exact symbol correctly, as any minor error can result in it being flagged non-tradable. Search for the correct symbol in the TradingView search bar and try accessing it from the suggestions drop-down list. This is a good way to ensure accuracy in your selection. For those still facing issues, another helpful tactic is to check TradingView's status page or community forums for any ongoing technical difficulties. Sometimes, the problem might not be on your end. If there are any scheduled maintenance or outages affecting certain exchanges or symbols, these updates will provide valuable insights. Finally, when all else fails, don't hesitate to reach out to TradingView support. They are the experts in resolving such issues and can provide tailored assistance. Be ready to provide detailed information about your issue for a quicker resolution. And there you have it. Those are the essential steps to fixing a non-tradable symbol in TradingView. I hope you found this guide helpful and that you're now able to analyze and trade without any further setbacks. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching, and happy trading!